The fact that you're polyamorous and polyamorous, we are all polyamorous in a setup doesn't mean our boundaries are the same. And I got to experience myself be deeply hurt and heartbroken, guys. And there were times where I acted on the attraction towards the other person, then I cheated in my relationships. And honestly, this is one that I want to share with those of you also exploring polyamory. Have some boundaries. Yeah. The fact that you like your person doesn't mean it should lead into a relationship, right? This is your friend of mine. This is your friend of mine. This is your friend of mine. The lesbian. My the lesbian. The lesbian. The lesbian. I know I'm going to sweat because of this jacket. There's no light, also. So everywhere is hot. But this shit looks cute. I'm not going to take it off. So we just have to deal with the heat and look cute and do this video cute. Cause cute before everything. Anything. You didn't hear that from me. So hi, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your friend, Amara. <laughs> Amara the lesbian. And in today's video, in today's video, in today's video, <laughs> welcome back to my life, welcome back to my home, welcome back to my house, welcome back to, you know, welcome back to my heart, because today we are going to do a heart to heart talk. So welcome into my heart, grab a seat, make yourself comfortable grab your puff puff grab your bay you know the drill grab something that will make you comfortable something that will make you enjoy this video because me amara amara the lesbian <laughs> you know i always want you to enjoy my video so anything that can help you anything that will make you enjoy this video today's video grab that thing keep it close to you hold it close to your body and enjoy the video all right i think this is my first upload for the week and honestly it's not supposed to be so because i had a very strict schedule for july and all of that but <laughs> but yeah i kind of had a a moment of you know i had a moment where i was just overwhelmed a lot so i just decided to just go off and yeah i'm back and i won't talk about some of them with you if you've been on this channel, if you've been watching the past few videos, the last videos that have been coming out, you'd know I've been taking time to just unburden myself, just talk about things that have just been burdening me. Some of them, I actually will talk about them. I published the video and two, three days later, I'll go and private it. Like if you go back my videos now, you see that some of the videos I published like a few weeks ago, they're no longer there because like I've talked about it, I've processed my feelings <laughs> now. I don't want, I don't want you people. I was about to say I don't want strangers watching it, but. You, you all are not strangers. People have been here with me for such a long... Some of you are closer to me than, you know, people that know me in real life. So, people are not strangers. So, today I want to also come back here and bring a topic that has been heavy on me. Something I've actually went through this past few weeks. And I'd like to talk about it today because, you know, we are gossips. Between you and I, <laughs> me and you, we gossip with each other. I gossip with you and you gossip with me in the comment section down below. So don't forget, if you have anything to say at any point in this conversation, in this video, you can always pause the video and gossip, 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 gossip with me in the comment section down below, all right? Comment your thoughts, comment your opinions, comment anything you want to comment. This is a safe zone. If any com if anybody comes for you, anybody insults you for your opinion, trust that I will delete that comment. I'm constantly watching for abusive comments to delete them. So you can comment your opinion anytime, any day on this channel, all right? So over the years, most of you have listened to me talk about how I'm polyamorous, how, um, you know, uh, how I'm dating while also in a very committed, serious relationship. So I've shared a little bit about that over the years on this channel. I don't know. In case you're new to this channel, do ha hi. Wait for everybody. Everybody pause. If you just see my face for the first time, if this is your first video of me, hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Amara. I'm a queer person living in Nigeria. I'm living, loving, existing, life in Nigeria. And Nigeria is a, Nigeria is, we are developing. Nigeria is still not a very safe place for queer people. That is why this channel is so important. That is why so, this, this platform is so important for me because I get to document my life. I get to share challenges, struggles, joys beauty of my queer living in nigeria so if this is something you'd be interested in if this is something that you think you like you can go back my old videos check my old videos if uh, my content seems like something you want to keep up 
you know stay with please subscribe take a time take take a moment to subscribe and you know comments introduce yourself in the comment section down below so i will know you joined the channel you joined the family all right and for the old people for my lovers and friends everybody that have been here since welcome you people know that i'm polyamorous i've talked about it i've mentioned it for the new people in case you're here and you don't know what polyamory means please google it because i'm not really i don't really enjoy educating people about some sectors of my life some aspect of my life honestly not anymore before i used to enjoy just like being the blackboard and educating people right now i'm just like okay please google that shit because i'm not a school i'm not a course i'm a human being and i'm living and i'm just trying to exist here so if you don't know what polyamory means please can you take a moment to google it before you continue this channel but <laughs> if you do or no do this video before you continue this video but if you already do clap for yourself let's just continue talking so over the years i've shared the fact that i'm polyamorous um and what that has been for me what that has represented or meant for me is that um i've been with my partner I've, my partner and i have been together for the past six years and I think three years into it is when we talked about opening our relationship and you know other parts of exploring ourselves and our polyamorous self and all of that so we've been on that on the journey of polyamory for like three years now and honestly it's not it has not been the easiest um, journey so I just recently went through a breakup and it was very interesting to be in a relationship and be heartbroken at the same time i won't go any details i won't call anybody's name in case any of anybody's here for amiable just don't don't bother i'm not going to give any any details that would you know intrude on somebody's privacy um but i'm going to talk about this in a way that shares my own experience all right so please everybody be patient with me because i'm going to be jabbering a lot before um, my relationship my girlfriend and i opened up our relationship before we we talked about being poly we had we had this period of time where I, I was in this relationship like even my other relationships i don't know i've talked about this on this channel before that one of the reasons why i decided you know i'm not monogamous is even in my previous relationship i've been in serious committed relationship with people and still feeling attracted to somebody else and then feeling guilty about it and there were times where i acted on the attraction towards the other person then i cheated in my relationship so i always knew that monogamous relationships and setting is not best for me because i i always carried around this guilt of being attracted to somebody else or cheating on the person i'm with and i wanted a relationship where i could be myself and not be guilty and not be sinful right so after years of being with Yinka, like three years after we, we had gotten together and all of that we started talking about polyamory and one day we made a decision and we were just like you know what okay we we discussed what was okay for us she told me what was okay for her i told her what was okay for me i'll use my relationship to some extent as an example in this video so the foundation of my own relationship the, the polyamorous relationship where we wanted we were building we were going to have we were having we are still having what we both wanted was communication everybody be honest about where you're at what what you're feeling how you're feeling nobody wants to feel cheated nobody wants to feel taken for granted so we, and we both really liked each other and respected each other so our foundation was okay communication and honesty and all of that i think between you online can i honestly <laughs> will be doing great for me personally where i've personally encountered challenges and struggles and problems is in dating anybody that's not online car honestly that's not my current primary relationship right so personally i've i've uh, i don't know how to say it I, I never really got any examples in like polyamory so everything i know about polyamory i had to like learn for myself i tried for myself so my last relationship the one i just and i just ended like a few months ago and oh god that that shit hurts me more than i even expected so when um this really before the relationship started right i met this woman i, I really really liked how we started talking one thing led to another we started talking about being serious with each other and we did that and we had a relationship and it was good it was great and it ended and i got to experience myself be deeply hurt and heartbroken guys it was something that was very very 
surprising and interesting. I got to experience myself. Olayinka was with me. Olayinka was beside me when that happened. And I got to see myself be heartbroken in a relationship. I got to see myself cry to Yinka. At some point, it was Yinka that was holding me, like telling me sorry. It was, it was a very interesting thing. And this was, this, these were parts of polyamory. I didn't. Okay, so Olayinka is yoga in over there. In case you're here, <laughs> is Yinka. And I also have Kata, so just ignore everybody <laughs> because of me. So yeah, before um, I went into that particular relationship, I didn't understand how, you know, you are supposed to know, have some boundaries. Yeah, I'll call them boundaries. I, I didn't understand, I didn't understand boundaries in polyamory. And I didn't understand how boundaries can be different for everybody the fact that you're polyamorous and polyamorous we are all polyamorous in a setup doesn't mean our boundaries are the same right because and that's one thing i wish someone told me in polyamory before i got here and honestly that's one thing i want to be able to share with you because every time i have people who write me asking me about polyamory asking me about their own life those of us trying out polyamorous relationship people know how confused and lonely can be because there are no manuals these things it's not being talked about as much as monogamous relationships so like there's so much to this so boundaries actually is one of the things i want to be able to teach and share with you in the coming months in the coming like in future content about polyamory i want to be able to teach people like and share with people the importance of boundary i didn't understand that and god now i know better but <laughs> It took me a very big heartbreak to know better. Being poly without boundaries is very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Because things that happen to you will tend to affect your partner. Before that relationship started, I didn't understand how a relationship going bad or a relationship ending or a relationship that hurts, even if it's my relationship, could really affect Inka. Because like days, weeks after, my relationship ended with this person. I was completely, I was a shadow of myself. And Ninka had to be there for me and pick me up and all of that. So as a unit now, as a couple, after everything, we had to talk about it. Like, yo, we have to have a boundary when it comes to dating and that because this is, this is, this is something and I wouldn't want you going out, dating, getting your heart broken and not checking that it can affect me. Do you understand? Boundaries are needed in every type of relationship and especially in polyamorous relationship. For example, with me, I'm, I've gotten to a place where I told Yinka recently that I think I like experiencing other people, but I do not want to date other people. And for me, it's like a current boundary I'm enforcing. Not because dating other people is not like a glorious thing or a glorious experience, but because I have to have a boundary. I'm at a place where um, everything gets to me, things can get to me, and if it gets to me, it can get to my partner. So she can, she can not subscribe for a heartbreak, but because I'm dating someone and I get my heart broken, automatically her heart to be broken too. Do you understand? So boundaries is not just for you, but also for the person you're with. So one thing I've learned recently with this breakup that's just happening, also this video is also a way to announce to you that I went through a breakup and for those of you that have that guessed it because some of you were in my inbox in fact even in my comment section down below even in my IG on my IG what, what happened to this person where is this person I've not seen this person like I don't know why some of you don't act smart like, you don't see this person on my timeline anymore you don't see me and this person hang anymore I mean clock it and understand that I might be in pain and don't bombard me with questions some of you were very hella insensitive this past few weeks because you noticed what was happening you noticed there was a distance between me and this person and they instead bombarding both of us with questions and that to me is not fair if you have someone that you like that you look up to and they share their life with you they share their relationship with you and you notice a period of time that something is happening and they're not sharing this person with you i don't think it's your place especially immediately to go and ask where is this person? What happened to this person? They should they are the one that stay sharing their life with you. If it's time, when it's time, they will share that part of their life with you. But asking people questions insensitively can actually be hurtful because 
almost, almost honestly i was hurt by some of you just being in my inbox like i think the day yeah the day after we broke up somebody commented hi i see you're not following this person what happened <laughs> like how do you have that tab on me how do you have that tab on me that you know when i've stopped following the person or when the person has stopped following me so yeah this video is also a way of me saying that i went through a breakup it was bad i've gotten over it or i'm still getting over it stop asking me questions this is your video of yes confirming yes this person and i have broken up for those of you that know you know for those of you that don't know i'm sorry <laughs> that you're lost this person that i once referred to as my lover and i are no longer together so and that has been a very interesting all of this has been very interesting having to go through a breakup while in a relationship <laughs> is a very interesting thing you would think that it would be easier but omo i won't lie olainka cannot hear me right now because her ears are blocked so i can really tell you anything she will see it when she's watching the video i won't lie it was even harder than i thought i remember this one time this like a few weeks after the breakup had happened i was so sad and yinka looks at me one night and she says ah, you've been so sad that you don't have time to be my girlfriend you're just you've just been so sad and in that moment on top like the heartbreak and the sadness i was feeling i also felt bad for not being available for my partner for not being a cheerful energy for not so it was it was hard to navigate just sharing my energy sharing the space sharing the house with my partner then also crying and mourning the end of a relationship with another person it, it, it's something that pokes on their ego even honestly i i, I know at some point like i think i was you know <laughs> i think i was <laughs> look at she was looking at me weird this particular relationship that ended even was very close to home because this person was also close to yinka and all of that so when it ended we both were sad and it made me certain that and honestly this is one i want to share with those of you also exploring polyamory this is something you should think of if you think oh i want to explore the same person i want to experience the same person with my partner you have to think of that part of it if something happens both of you would have to go through that hurt together there will be nobody present to drag the other person it made me certain that one of my boundaries as a polyamorous person is my partner experiences who they want to experience i experience the person i want to experience so we can both be there for each other if anything happens we can honestly honestly this is one of my boundaries now and this is something i learned from this particular breakup and it's very interesting that i learned so much about polyamorous relationship from a breakup it's actually very interesting i learned so much from like i learned so much about myself i learned so much about boundary i can't i cannot talk about boundaries enough i did not understand what they were before i do understand honestly boundary is your your if i say your capacity your limit your full stop your no your this is not i don't want this your this is what i want that is what boundaries are and i didn't understand that before i didn't understand how much I personally actually don't even enjoy dating out of my outside of my relationship i don't I, I i enjoy meeting people i enjoy experiencing people but building a different relationship commitment like it's very honestly it's very stressful and it's stress is not something everybody's ready for I, I, i'm not right now not ready for stress it's very stressful to, to be in two different relationships it's something i'd casually talked about before before this particular relationship that oh i don't want to do different relationships but i didn't understand why i was talking about that or was saying that i didn't know what i was saying was like a boundary i just thought this was you know this was just me talking and then i met this person who i really really loved and i, I, I admired and adored and all of that and we started talking about being serious with each other and then because i wasn't sh I, I didn't know my boundary i didn't know what i didn't call out my boundary to be a boundary i, I just called it out to be one of those things i say then i i crossed my boundary without knowing i started a relationship that i wasn't i don't i don't think honestly to be honest just to be honest with people that like are listening to me right now i say relationship that i knew for certain i knew i was sure all of my insights knew that was not the way to go like i liked this person like that's another thing i actually learned with this this past period of my life that the fact that you like a person doesn't mean it should lead into a relationship right i really liked this person i really really respected this person and i love spending time with this person right 
but it didn't mean that we should be in a relationship and i didn't understand what boundary honestly i cannot stress this enough i did not understand what boundaries meant so i crossed my own boundaries without even knowing and it was when the relationship has started when we were way deep into the relationship that i started feeling a type of way i realized that there were boundaries i had boundaries that i had crossed a long time ago now i was at a place where i was feeling a type of way i was feeling a little bit angry at myself a little bit angry at this person a little bit angry at everybody like it was it was not good honestly the relationship with this person was really great we had really amazing times but we both really struggled in the relationship we had each other we, we we struggled i remember what i felt what i went through was hard my everyday the, the processing my emotions carrying myself my self-esteem my feelings my everyday emotions they were hard with this person in this relationship it's not because this person was a terrible person this person was did anything terrible to me but just our dynamics both of us together we struggled we struggled so much we struggled honestly it was <laughs> and all of this has given me like a different knowledge a different set of tools that i'm dealing with now when it comes to like polyamory and polyamorous relationship i'm in a relationship i'm out here i'm still experiencing people i'm still meeting people i'm still talking to people but i know for sure that there's a level to a relationship that i don't want to have with anybody i just i just don't it's not i cannot i cannot i don't have capacity for it i can't i don't have space i can't hold it and i genuinely do not want to feel like a bad person for not having that space or capacity do you understand and that's one thing i felt i felt like a shitty person i was like dating outside of my relationship makes me feel like a shitty person yeah that is why you need to know yourself so you know what your boundaries are so i'm making this video to say to everybody who follows me who is interested in polyamory who maybe if you want me to talk about polyamory more if you want me to make more content honestly if you want me to make more content about polyamory just let me know in the comment section down below and ask me your specific questions so i can maybe compile all of them and make a video but for right now i actually just want to say to everybody that is interested in polyamory that take time before you get yourself into anything into any relationship whether it's your primary your secondary your you know tertiary take time to know yourself understand your boundaries understand what you're trying to achieve understand what works best for you you can be a person you can be an empath you can be someone who knows how to attract people who finds themselves attracted to different people who knows how to experience people but it doesn't mean you have the capacity to date be in a relationship being in love with you know more than one person you have to understand who you who you are before you get yourself or your partner crossed honestly understand your boundaries so you can also protect the person you're with because the past few months have opened my mind to how we can hurt our partners by just exposing ourselves to situations that hurt us how we can hurt our partners by just dating and loving and experiencing other people all of this has just been enlightening my god my god so yes 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 to answer all the numerous questions i've been getting about this topic yes this person and i are no longer together <laughs> yes we are no longer together i went through a heartbreak i'm fine i'm back i do not want more questions about that relationship or what happened like please if you love me if you like me don't don't be bombarding me with questions about anything about it if anything that comes out that if i think of anything that i feel like i can manipulate into a content to a video into a topic i can talk about it in a way not in a way that it is me tearing apart my former relationship with you no maybe me teaching you or sharing something i learned via this relationship or via this breakup do you understand we can talk about it that way so if there are ways you probably won't ask me questions about polyamory general questions not about my relationship with this person right about polyamory you can just send them to me comment them below but i'll appreciate it <laughs> if those of you that are bombarding me questions and tagging me to things and you know even tagging me and this person's name to the same post uh, it's it's not right now it's not fair it's not fair just please leave us both alone and i know as i continue as i <laughs> go on in life meeting other people experiencing more people outside of my relationship 
I know I have better tools, I have better knowledge to handle that, to navigate that. I I have like I have I feel like that relationship gave me like two, three years of growth and experience because I've learned so much about life, about myself. Oh my, I learned so much about myself, I won't lie. Out of everything I learned, eh? Myself was the greatest. I learned so much about myself and I'm very grateful. And this is why I will tell people to put their hearts, their hearts. Put your heart out there. I mean, they can break it, but you learn so much. You learn so much. Or subscribe to my channel. When they break my heart, I'll teach you what I learned. So you don't have to break your heart to learn things. I'll teach you my own. All right, subscribe to my channel. Um, comment, like this video, follow me on Instagram. In case you're not getting it, this is the end of the video. By the way, <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Come on, be going. Um, subsequently, as I go on, as I like meet people, I hope to be able to carry poor along safely like not expose like these people to you i don't want to be bringing people to your face anymore like i feel like that because honestly youtube also contributed to some of the anxieties and the struggles that this person and i experienced in our relationship youtube youtube the effect of youtube the effect of am i a lesbian people other people other people contributed to a lot of the struggles we went through so um i hope in future as i go on as i meet people as i experience people i i, I don't i hope I, I figure out a way to navigate youtube being on here sharing that doesn't cause problem for me in my real life i never want to make a person feel like i'm hiding them so i will i'll find a way to like share with you acknowledge who i'm acknowledging but also not expose people to you or expose you to people. I hope as as we continue this journey of vlogging, of sharing our lives together, that I figure out a smarter way of sharing my life with you in a way that doesn't cause problem for me in the life that I'm sharing. Do you understand? So yeah, um, thank you so much for everybody that supported me, that's been here with me. Please come back my next video. I have a big news. I have a big 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 news i want to share good news actually i want to share my next video so come back subscribe turn on your post notification turn on your bell so when i post something you can get it and you can come and watch it don't waste your time don't stress yourself youtube will notify you themselves so turn that on don't forget everyone love yourself take care of yourself be there for yourself be good to yourself pamper yourself forgive yourself be friends with yourself be friends with yourself love on yourself all right i love you i'm rooting for you thank you to everyone that that have that have been there for me these past few weeks honestly my friends that you know just held my heart held my hand this past few weeks they were hard i won't like breaks up break breaks breaks up break up breakups breakups are so hard and thank you to my partner to my girlfriend that you know was here for me to drain this breakup Thank you to those of you that noticed and asked me questions kindly and respectfully. Thank you. I, I want no more questions. So, yeah, from me to you, this is your friend Amara. Amara, the lesbian. <laughs> I love you. Love on yourself. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>